in there. So, all right. So the agenda today is just an overview of the Vodia ecosystem, an introduction on the modern web GUI. We're going to highlight some labeling options, customization, uh, highlight the Vodia WebRTC. And then um, next week, we're going to have another webinar on how to increase revenues with Vodia Cloud phone system. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next week. OK, Vodia was uh, founded in 2006, privately owned, a US-based company. Specializes on IP BBX software for enterprise and service providers. Uh, we have regional offices in Canada, Europe, South Africa, China, and Australia. We have also 100,000 hosted end users on the Vodia SaaS platform. And uh, we notice a, a significant growth of 40% this year with, alone with our uh, hosted platform. Okay, and uh, so modern communication system for the 21st century. Vodia PBX has no moving part. It's a robust, flexible, affordable software PBX. And uh, we have MSPs and VARs can create and sell plans that meet the future communication. So that's what's good about the PBX. You can custom make your business around it. You can do conference servers, uh, calling cards. And then the browse-based communication. So you guys played around with the WebRTC. Hopefully, um, you found it useful uh, for some implementations where uh, phones are not available. Or if you don't want to uh, purchase any phones, you can just use the WebRTC uh, on the uh, Vodia phone. Um, it's going to replace, we believe it's going to replace uh, the phones in years to come, um, which would be great because it's you don't have to build new phones. It'll be great for the ecosystem. Um, and then, you know, it delivers, uh, we, de we believe that it's going to deliver a, a vision. Um, and hopefully you guys will be using it much more and give us more feedback on the, on the Vodia web interface of the um, phone. So uh, Vodia, you know, you all know that's a zero start cost, low infrastructure cost. We have linear pricing, true plug and play. Bring your own device, it's full white labeling solution. Advanced security, multi-tenant. We have click to call, post for SMS and fax to email. Uh, so we have our top uh, customers around the world. Um, these guys have, have grown over the years, so have worked with you guys, and I've seen a steady increase. So that means that the, the Vodia PBX is going to be something for the future for your business, and hopefully we'll grow together and uh, make new innovations for, uh, for the future of uh, telephonistry. So today we support new phones that have uh, come out, like the Acuvox, VTEC, Essene, Grandstream, Polycom, HTEC, uh, soft uh, phones like Zoiper and Counterpath. And uh, I believe uh, Mitel will be the next phone that we're going to provision. Uh, it's going to be available on the template and uh, Fanville as well. So uh, Vodia notices uh, that we have a lot of integration done with a lot of third parties like FreshBook, Dockers, uh, Salesforce, uh, CRM. We can also be uh, hosted on the Amazon Web Servers, Azure, Google Cloud Platform, and uh, FreshBooks has been very popular with us as far as billing is concerned. Uh, when you're running a hosted uh, business, hosted PBX business, where you want to um, bill your customers, uh, whether it be extensions that you're charging them, or accounts, or just uh, paid per minute. Uh, SIP trunks, you guys uh, primarily, most of you guys are SIP trunk providers, so you already know that uh, how that works. But we also support other uh, trunks like Twilio, Broadvox, Florout, ThinQ. ThinQ is uh, one of my favorite trunks I like to deal with because um, they have good uh, uh, level three support. Um, and also a bandwidth. If you guys uh, do any business with bandwidth, we support the SMS feature 
uh, for uh, text. So basically, you'll get a text from the PBX, whether it be you're an admin or a user. Uh, if you, you know, a user gets a voicemail, they'll get their text voicemails as well. All right, so let's, uh, let's go to the, uh, the last few slides that we have. So uh, potentially, there's going to be a growth in uh, voice over IP. Um, so global VoIP service surged up to 140 billion by 2021. Uh, so that being said, uh, our other competitors like Ring Central and Vonage, et cetera, um, they already know and they're pouring a lot of money into voice over IP. So I think you guys already see the future. You guys see the light with Vodia. Uh, being part of your ecosystem today, and you know it's successful. So, great app. So, those are the advantages with, uh, with PBX. Okay, so let's go, let's go to the web interface. All right, so this is the uh, main page of the PBX. I only have one domain today, uh, but it is multi-tenant, so this creates one just on the fly. Oh, we have that. All right, so there's my domain. We have the extension level. Let's create a quick extension. You see that uh, the, the GUI is uh, so much responsive now. It's smooth. We have new icons. And let's go within the extension. Very sleek, very responsive. We added uh, some widgets. This is the redirection page. Mailbox. This is the email page. Registration. You can see we added some nice uh, integration here. We add a contact with your MAC addresses. Permissions for extensions, buttons. If you wanted to uh, create some buttons, you can do so. Just do uh, BLF or agent group. So that's created. Customize. Very good feature when you want to customize uh, a phone without configuring the whole system. You just want to configure uh, a few items or, or things on the phone, like uh, say update policy. You want to change that to never update. Oh, Vladimir. OK. Uh, the auto attendant. Create one. Let's give it a name. About A and I. Extensions inputs. Okay. So you guys already seen the, the, the difference between the old uh, PBX and the new PBX. Conference room. All right, so another thing worth mentioning is the left-hand panel 
has uh, these drop downs that put everything in order um and it's very organized as well compared to uh the old web interface the other thing i want to mention is the the logo so let's go to the logo here so here um you can upload an svg image for your pbx so you can brand uh, your pbx as well you have to make sure you have a, a correct svg image for it to work and then the background images for the phone as well um, that helps for e-link phones and snom phones that support um, color display on the phone uh, the other advancements we have is uh, action url great for the hospitality sector you can create a, a method on, on how you want the uh, server to reply to the client so these are very useful tools also a, PM, uh, a pms uh, server using uhll you can create a um, connection between the pms server and the pbx so in order to function together um, you know you can send call charges to pms you can switch this to yes or no you see the the response of the uh, buttons are pretty pretty responsive pretty uh slick as well and then uh we can go through some pages you can see the difference between the old and new uh the address book dial plan voicemails if you had any recording calls it would show up here so it's very nicely nicely integrated uh, you'll see a play button once you have recordings uh, you can add a, a MOH source file as well we have group messaging uh, this is a um, I believe SNOM phones support this, but I believe other phones as well. I think Grandstream supports uh, messaging. We have the user location. And uh, custom my page. This is the templates uh, from the domain. We have all the files. We support Fanville, Cisco, SNOM. Grandstream XMLs. You need to change them. You can change them here. It's much more, much more effective this time because you can you know, stretch the format here, the buttons and everything. So, stop codes. See, everything is uh, much bigger. It's uh, much wider, so you can, so you can see the uh, the settings that we have uh, compared to the old version where the fonts were a little bit too small uh, uh, so we have, we have buttons lots of buttons yeah. all right so let's exit and let's go to the administrator page if um, you guys are probably using the DID management list which I find very easy when you're doing a deployment you can uh, put your DIDs and map your domains if it's a multi-tenant. And if you guys have any questions uh, about the, the new interface or some inquiry, um, you can send uh, us an email at sales.vodia.com. Uh, also, um, I want to mention the search uh, bar. So rather than going and clicking, you can just go to a page. It's a brand new feature that we have. Makes it easy for admins to to look for certain centers in the system. We have so many. So hopefully that would help you guys more to deploy and uh, figure out where things are in the system. I think we have certificates. 
search. You can click there and you go to the search page. You got your general uh, information here and the graphs. We, uh, we did some upgrades on the graphs. It looks much, much more readable, uh, clear. I have no traffic here, maybe well, just one HTTP session myself, so I haven't done any uh, testing on on this server here. We got the log file as well. I think you guys are like this. It's not all bunched up. If you're doing some troubleshooting, click the arrow going up, I think that's pretty cool. And we got the call history page, active calls, DNA's cache. So if you guys have any questions, um, if you guys want to also download the beta version, I think we sent an email out so you guys can test it. Um, if you have any questions, um, please uh, or send us an email at sales at uh, or send me a personal email at hc at .com if you have any questions for me. Uh, I'm just going to unmute you guys and maybe you guys, uh, if you guys want to ask a question uh, through chat, I can pick a question out and, and try to answer it to the best of my ability. Hey, guys. So, glad to be your ass. I would wait for the official uh, release before putting in produ production, uh, but um, you can also test it on your uh, cold servers to see if um, you know if it if it's right. If you don't find any uh, issues with it, but normally I would wait for the major release, especially if you're doing uh, hosted. Okay, so David asked, where is the global branding for logos? The only one I can find or shown here is under domain account. So the domain account has its own logo as far as, and the administrator. So if you wanted to globally uh, put your image, rather than put new images for each customer, you want it, it's your brand, right? So you, you go to programs for Windows, for Windows, we go program, Vodia, Vodia PBX, and go to HTML and create an image, because that's how we uh, verify the, the, the file. And then here you dump your image, whether it be um, SVG or uh, JPEG. So this is the same for Linux, I believe, user, local, PBX, HTML. Uh, sorry, I failed to mention that you have to create an HTML folder in order to have your uh, image be global on the system. So, if you have any more questions, you can you can um, you can write it on the chat uh, window. So Nick asks, what's the significance of adding the one in the DID number in the accounts? Um, well, there's two ways, actually. If the one is in front of the number, it's a global, it's a global number. However, um, you can globalize that and put that on the country code, on the domain, um, and it also I want to mention that when an inbound call comes into the PBX, it usually comes in as a global number in, in some cases that I've seen. So the PBX will match that based on the uh, send request URI under the trunk uh, setting. So with, if you don't add the one, which is fine, however, if you add it on the global level, on the uh, system settings, you put one, um, then it will be uh, global. Uh, Luis asks if he, can I test the same server? I have my old server. 
yeah, I mean, you can you can download the new version. Um, you can, if it's not in production, you can uh, stop the service in Windows, rename the folder and the program files, and then reinstall the PBX. Uh, has okay. So Neil asks, has provisioning been improved or the same? So there's always room for for improvement, uh, especially if the phone vendor changes um, their button templates or they added a new feature that some customers uh, want. So we have to adapt with the change. So if provisioning uh, perfect or improved, I would say yes in the standpoint that the phone provisions, you get your buttons. Um, we do a very good job with that. Uh, so if something changes on the, on the, uh, you know, for example, on Grandstream, we've done a lot of work with them and, uh, we've improved their template, for example. So they'll give us the template, we'll improve it. If they change something, they let us know. So we have that relationship with, with, uh, with our phone, um, friends. So, yeah. So, okay. So let's go to the next question. Alan from VoiceSpring has the interface that the user see when they log in is using their extension change? Um, well, for the user interface, is that if that's what you mean, um, it is, okay, here. So th this is the user interface. Um, there has been no, no improvement here. We've, we've done much that we can do here. Uh, if there's a new feature or a new setting that needs to be put, we'll, we'll put it. I mean, so it, it is it is the same as it was. Uh, Luis asks, this version has the ability for text and video. The only ability we have right now is text, um, uh, SMS. Um, so if you want to test that, you can sign up with bandwidth. And they, we have a, a setting for the SMS, uh, for the text messages for SMS on the system. So we don't have video yet. That's something that's in the, in the pipeline. Nick asks, or Renee asks, user interface is fixed in the new version? Yes, it's, it's been fixed since, I believe, version 52 or 51. Uh, we've also added um, some uh, uh, DTLS and uh, TLS 1.2, and I believe RSC 4, we, we did something with the cryptography. Um, so those are some of the protocols that Google needed to be uh, integrated with. Uh, if you don't have those, those updates that they, um, they mandate, then uh, WebRTC won't work. So... Yes, the web interface, the, the, the user web interface works. You can use it today um, with a headset USB or just your, your speaker on your, on your laptop. One second. Uh, Nick asks, will this make it easier to limit the option available in the user portal or will that be able to be built out? Uh, that's a good question. In fact, at, I believe in the dom domain level, we have, uh, let's say, I, I believe, let me go to the admin level. Settings, maintenance, customize. Ah, yes, here it is, user page control. So we do have something. I mean, you don't want your customers changing the SIP passwords on the, on the, on the user level, which will, might cause some trouble, as long as the phone reboots, they'll get the new SIP password. I don't think that's a, that's a biggie, but if you don't want to show it, you can hide it. The web password, you can hide it. Uh, user select the address book can be uh, hidden, redirection. All these settings here can be hidden from the uh, customer um, based on the, on the user level. So you can hide them you, or you can show them. Uh, Luis asks, no, I can't stop the server for my regular calls by my work. If, well, um, Luis, I, I would, I would build another server and run the, the new version. Um, if, if that's the case, uh, so I, I wouldn't, I, if, 
you feel daring and you you can test it if you want on your on your hot server but I would recommend doing it on your cold server and then maybe add a couple registrations on there, trunk, make sure everything works for you, feel comfortable with it. And again, if, if we have the beta version out, so we really uh, need your, your comments. If you find anything that we can fix to improve the performance and the functionality of the PBX. Uh, Alan asks, has the change that caused the phone to reboot when changing is made been back out um well okay so the reboot for the phones uh i believe today you can do a resync um which is a, basically the same thing in some cases or i've seen so far that when you do a resync on the uh, domain level um, the phones will reboot to get that new change so in in case may, I, i'm not sure if the reboot will be there or will be added that's i would have to ask the development on that but it has been fixed in the sense that you can use the resync uh option which is basically the same thing alan asks from voice spring running version 57.x if i change a button for example the phone reboots that's actually okay because we are sending uh, a message to the phone a uh, phone um, will initiate uh, will initiate a reboot so that the next time around the phone boots up it'll get the the new configuration uh, of a button for example or if changing a transport uh, to tcp to tls or to udp so that that's that's expected behavior of the phone Uh, so, uh, do you have any more questions? Luis asks, is for text now you see short zip? yeah yeah this is uh for text now you see short sip uh, i'm not sure if i'm not sure i understand if you're talking about uh if you're talking about the general settings system settings uh i believe um yeah so if you're talking about the log length um you can change that on the domain on the system level where it'll show the invite information as a short text as far as the from and the to and the invite is concerned we'll shorten that to f and then two for two okay All right, guys. So, I mean, thanks for for joining me uh, on this this time around. There's a webinar to show you the new web interface. Um, I have a recording of of this session. Oh, okay. Luis asks, most soft phones only work with with that protocol. Sure. I mean, um, it, it's a, it, a soft phone is a SIP based uh, component, so uh, we should support that as well. Also, uh, I forgot to mention um, under under the customize uh, page, you can um, customize your company logo, um, your image email. When um, emails go out, you'll, they'll see your logo, fax images, and uh, voice images to, to email when they get when the user gets a new. Uh, uh, mail from the mailbox okay and next week guys um, I'm we're gonna host another webinar on how to increase uh, your sales with the Vodia cloud solution uh, it'll be next Friday and we'll send out an email and uh, let you know the time and, and date for for that event I hope to uh, see you guys there as well so 
Um, thank you for for joining joining me and and taking some time out of your day to uh, to experience the new uh, web interface uh, that Vodia, the new modern web interface that Vodia has uh, created for you guys. All right, so have a good day and uh, have a good week.